Welcome to Toy World. I'll say it's by me. It was a child's dream to go on an adventure with his or her toys, and one child in particular was going to get his wish. The boy's name was Rex Finbar. He was six years old, and he was looking through his toy box for his remote-controlled helicopter, but he couldn't find it. As he removed toy after toy from the box, he started to see into the depths a bit more, until he em until he'd emptied the entire box and found himself standing in the brambles of a clearing, which he carefully moved away from to find himself standing in a woodland area. What is this place? he asked himself. As he walked around the woods, he met his three-year-old sister Daisy, who had entered through her own toy box. Where are we, Rex? she asked him. I don't know, Daisy. It's some sort of wood, replied Rex. As the siblings continued to look around, they saw three unusual things in very quick succession. The first thing was a literal teddy bear's picnic, with about 30 teddy bears in attendance, all from the same family. The second thing was a nature trail with a class of what appeared to be a group of school-aged children, who looked at least eight years old. They were being led around by a ranger, a modern police action figure and chaperoned by their teacher, a grown-up doll who was 25 years old, or so she appeared. Stay close, children, she called out to them. The third and final thing was a group of teenage action figures having a dirt bike race. Keep hold of my hand, Daisy, Rex told Ray Daisy, as they exited the woods and entered the fresh open air of a busy city crowded with busy toys of all sorts bustling about. They were amazed by what they saw, as they observed quite a bit more of their surroundings. A bright red plastic convertible shot past them, chased not far behind by a plastic police cruiser. Just opposite them stood an antique shop, which according to its sign, was a home for antique toys. At that point, a model crossing guard came to help them across the road. What are your names, young humans? He asked them. My name's Rex Finbar, and this is my sister Daisy. It's nice to meet you, said Rex. Likewise, Rex and Daisy Finbar, replied the crossing guard, shaking their hands. Roy is the name. Roy Robertson, he told them. His name made sense to Rex and Daisy, considering what he was considering he was made of rubber. Welcome to Toy World, said Roy. So is the sign on the front of this antique shop accurate? asked Rex. It certainly is, young Rex. We are indeed standing outside the Toy World home for antique toys, Roy told them proudly. At what age is a toy considered antique? asked Rex. Any toy that is at least 100 years old is considered an antique. The oldest resident is a Victorian teddy bear named Vicky. And she is currently 253 years old. Roy told them. After a while, the friendly fam a friendly family of plushies offered them a place to stay while they were there. The Polycotton family, a family of five plushies made out of polyester and cotton. The father was Adam, a systems analyst made of polyester. His wife was Evelyn, a housewife made out of cotton. And their children were Owen and Marie, twin brother and sister, both made out of mixed materials due to a mix of their parents' material, material codes. <laughs> they were very happy to have two human children in their care, but one question remains. How are they going to feed them? As humans don't eat plastic and rubber foods. At that moment, Marie had an idea. 
We have a whole human district that has places that best suit their needs for food, she suggested. It was settled, and Adam ordered in some food from their human district so Rex and Daisy could eat and drink, as they would not be able to drink liquid wax and paint from the tap. Within the next day, Rex and Daisy were introduced to the whole of Toy World, and were welcomed warmly. This was the first episode of the Toy World category of some magical story time. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a some magical time.